basic kinds of patio pots. And before you make one, you need to decide which kind you want. This one is a one-sided patio pot, which means it's gonna go up against a wall or a podium of some sort where the one side of it won't be seen. So you'd automatically put the taller plant in the back and work your way forward. The next kind is an even kill. It's basically all the same height. It's really full, um, but there is no direct height in any one spot. The third kind, and the kind we're gonna make today, is the one with height in the center, where it can be seen all the way around. You're gonna put your tall plant in the center and work your way down from there. So today we're gonna make a patio pot. The first thing you're gonna need is your pot. You're gonna need some good soil. You're gonna need some fertilizer, and you're gonna need your plant. Um, I've picked out a pot and I've already filled it almost completely full with soil. I'm going to go ahead and mix in some fertilizer. You can use any granular um, or you can use a liquid. Um, today we're going to use Start and Grow. And this is a fair sized patio pot, so I'm going to scoop in two heaping spoonful and stir it into the soil. Once you got your fertilizer stirred in, you're going to pick the plants you want to use and start putting them together. So I'm going to do a pot that you can see from all directions. I'm going to put my tall thing in the center and then build it down from there. Um, I've picked full sun plants to work with today. First one is going to be a shrimp plant. They bloom all summer. Um, it'll be the height in the center, so I'm going to push a little hole down in the center of my pot put my tall guy in here and I'll pack the soil down around him so that he'll stay centered and upright while I work with my other plants. So today I've chosen to use a yellow, pink, purple, and white color scheme. Um, my tall plant is yellow. Uh, you can use any colors you really choose. That's just the color scheme I chose to go with. So the next plant I'm going to put in is a purple plant called Angelonia. Um, they're again full sun. You always want to make sure that the plants you pick can handle the same sun. Um, it's a really good plant that blooms all summer. And I'm just going to break up the root structure a little bit because it's a little bit root bound. Make another hole beside my height and wiggle it in. Okay. Sometimes when you're placing your next plant, your other plants will shift. Don't be afraid to reposition them. It won't hurt them. Um, tuck them in a little bit. And now, I'm gonna put my middle height things in first before I put my trailers in. So I'm gonna spin the pot. And the next plant I'm gonna use is a pinta. Um, fairly upright, there again, blooms all season, full sun, is a heavy bloomer. Everything I chose to use is gonna be a heavy bloomer because I want the most color for the whole season. My pot's white, so trying to break away give it some more color. I'll tuck that little guy in and just keep working until all of your medium height plants are in place. Okay, so as I've been placing, the my height here has shifted. Like I said, just push it back into place. Once you get the last plant in, it will hold it back up. So, now I've got all my medium height plants in, and it may look like the patio pot is full, but there's always room for more. <laughs> so now I'm going to put my trailers in. For my trailers, I've picked sweet potato vine, and it is really root bound. So I'm going to pop the bottom roots off the pot, kind of spread it out a little bit. And since I'm rotating colors, I have some pink and white and some purple and pink on this side. I have two of these, so I want to flank each side of the plant with them so it will be even. So I'm going to tuck them in right here. I'm going to put some more dirt on there to hold it in place. Spin this guy around a bit yet. It may seem like a bad idea to pop some of the roots off, but really it helps them root, so don't be afraid to do it. You just don't want to pop too much off. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so now that I've got those in place, my other two trailers, I've chosen a yellow lantana. Hummingbirds and butterflies love it. It's a heavy, heavy bloomer. It can take the heat, and it goes with my color scheme. So, now this is a bigger root ball, and it is really root bound. So, I'm going to take the bottom half of the roots off. It's a little messy. <laughs> and since my other trailer I picked is purple, I'm going to put the yellow trailer under this purple right here to break up the color scheme. Alright, so I've made a little space. I'm just going to tuck this bad boy in there. Now, a lot of times when you're putting together a patio pot, the plants have already been growing a certain direction. So they look a little crowded, they look a little funny. You can manipulate them and move them around to make them look a little more relaxed and make them look like they've already been growing together. And once they've been together for a couple days in the sun, you won't notice that they were ever apart. My last and final plant is going to be purple verbena, another plant that the hummingbirds and butterflies like. There again, blooms all season, really easy to care for. And I'm going to put it under the white to contrast to break up the white from the white pot. I used one white plant to bring in the white that was in the shrimp plant and the white that was in, a pot, in the pot that we chose to use. I'm just going to tuck this guy in here. Now all you have to do is fill in any little gaps where there is no soil um, to top it off, water it in, put it in the sun that it requires, and you're golden. Um, just don't forget to water it and take care of it in the last all season.